Hey guys, so as you guys are very well aware, I've shared on my channel numerous times stuff that I've gotten from Mercari. I've also gotten some clothes sent to me from a couple of my friends and they continue to send me clothes. So what I wanna do, and I will show you in this video, I'm gonna go through um, at least one of my totes full of like clothes overflow. And what I plan to do is find some um, like long sleeve tops that I wanna put up for sale. And when I put these up for sale, I actually have listings on Mercari as well. I think I've mentioned that in previous videos, but that is the plan for this tote. Like when I finish going through it, um, anything that I have taken out, I plan to list on Mercari. I have one listing up currently. I just sold an old phone that I used to have. Um, but I'm with a different carrier now, so I just sold that phone, and um, I have a listing of six plus-size women's tops. So that's the only listing I have that's active currently is that tops listing. So I'm going to look and see if there's any long sleeve tops that I can get rid of. Okay, so this is the tote I'm going through. This is all long sleeves. I also have... Um, this is the lid that was on this, um, but this green tote also has clothes in it. My entire dresser is full, so, like, in my dresser, all of this stuff is, like, hoodies, sweaters, long sleeve shirts, all that stuff. So, I definitely could use some more space. Um, I'm not going to get rid of everything, because there are pieces in this tote that I still wear, but <clears throat> there is stuff in here that I could easily part with. Okay, so I haven't quite determined how I'm actually going to go about doing this because as you can see, this tote is very full, um, but I have to do it. Like I can't keep accumulating all these clothes and like I have multiple things that are on their way to me currently from people. So, like, boxes that are 40 pounds worth of clothes and things like that. So, it's very easy to accumulate more, and I'm not trying to have that happen. So, I need to, like, figure this out. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll do some sort of time lapse. So then, like, you don't have to see me going through piece by piece really slowly. I think it's easier if I just do a time lapse so then you can see. Um, I think today all I'm going to do is go through this one tote. Um, I don't think I want to go through the green tote just yet um, because that doesn't just have long sleeves in it. It has like jean shorts and pants and capris and things like that mixed in there as well. So it's kind of like a hodgepodge mix of a bunch of different things. So um, this is all long sleeves and like um zip jackets and sweaters and stuff like that so it's all long sleeve so to the time lapse Okay, so as you can see, there's a little bit less in there. This is the actual pile that I'm going to get rid of or sell on Mercari. Um, no, this whole box is not full. There's puzzles in there. Um, but I will show you each item that I'm going to list on Mercari. And it feels good to actually have a little bit more space in that tote. Um, I know I need to go through like this whole dresser, but that is not a chore for today. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna show you all of the items that I'm gonna list on my um, page on Mercari. Okay, so hopefully you guys are able to hear me good. I have the clothes piled on my bed currently that I'm gonna be listing on Mercari. And I wanna show you everything, so. Um, 
This first one is still has tags on it. As you can see, this is Croft and Barrow and it is a women's classic, whatever. Um, it's like a dark green and it zips all the way. So I'm going to try to like post certain things together, um, like stuff with tags or stuff from a, the same um, company. This is Faded Glory, still has a tag on it. This is a rib turtleneck, just a plain blue turtleneck. Um, so that has tags on it. This one is another Croft and Barrow with tags on it still. And this is like a, I don't know if that's a mock neck or what, women's classic, but it still has the tag on it, purple. This one is from Kohl's, Sonoma, still has the tag on it. And this is just a everyday long sleeve crew. This is Liz and Co. This does not have tags on it, just a striped sweater. This still has tags on it. Um, this is Bobby Brooks, just a camouflage sweater with tags. Then we have from Fashion Nova, a crop long sleeve with like a rainbow on the arms. And I honestly don't know if anyone would even want to buy this, but it's like a windbreaker jacket or pullover. Um, Holloway. It looks very, very wrinkled because it is. Um, it is not new with tags. It's not new at all, but I'll post it and see if anybody wants it. Um, this one is not, it doesn't have tags on it. Classic Elements Woman Pink. And then we have this, um, I wore this once and it was like a dress on me. It's Tara and Sky. Really comfortable, but like I said, it was down past my knees and yeah, it just was not like my style whatsoever. Um, then you have this one, Cropped and Barrow Mock Neck. Doesn't have tags, but it still has the sticker on it. And then this hoodie, I wore it once and my friend who sent it to me wore it multiple times. Um, I just don't like the way that it fits. It is a hoodie from No Boundaries. And as you can see, it says like love and stuff like that. Really comfortable, very, very stretchy, but it just, I don't like the way that it fits. And then this shirt, it's a button down shirt chaps still has the tag on it um this the price on this i don't know if you can see that 55 dollars, but it's like brown paisley print i don't know how well you can see that um i've never worn it obviously so that one's going for sale it's like little fuzzies on the back um, and last but not least, this is super pretty. I was going to wear it for St. Patrick's Day, but there's like a decision that I had to make because it still has tags on it from Sears. Um, and like I said, it's really pretty green with like gold. I don't know how well you can see that sparkly shiny. Um, and I decided since it still has tags on it, I'm not going to wear it. So maybe it'll sell better. Um, so those are the clothes that I'm going to be listing. I still have to like separate them out into different, um, 
bundles or lots or whatever because I don't normally like post one single item by itself. I usually wait until I have enough to um, like make a little bundle whether that's three, four, five, six items. Um, I like to bundle items. Um, so yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. This was probably a boring video for a lot of you guys, but I figured you could maybe get a look into how I choose what items I'm going to post for sale on Mercari. I will still be posting more after I post these items. I can guarantee you that. As you have seen downstairs, I have a lot of things in my dresser. And like I said, I have at least three packages of clothes that are on their way to me right now from friends. So I really need to get more space. Um, so yeah, anyways, that's it for today's video. If you guys have any questions about why I decided to start selling my um, overflow clothing on Mercari, any questions about Mercari in general, or any topics you'd like me to discuss in the future on my channel, please be sure to let me know. I'd be glad to get something filmed for you. And with that being said, that's all I have for today. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I will talk to you guys next time.